Jim, you've been here almost 30 years. Tell us, what is the end game here? Actually, this is a radical change we're going through right now because China um, has been on a trajectory of becoming part of the world um, and, and kind of uh, connecting with the world systems and the world's rules, maybe not liking some of them and avoiding some of them. Under this current leadership, China wants to be a leader in the world, integrated in the world, and different than the rest of the world. And it wants to be making its own rules. And, um, and it's very much going back into a very authoritarian form of um, party-controlled, central-led government. So all of that, the way it affects the world and, and the way it affects companies, add to that the muscle of the size of this market, the amount of money the Chinese government has, and they're also getting much smarter now because they're going out and they're buying companies. Um, and they're actually buying companies um, in, uh, and those companies are very, uh, blocked in the, in, from doing the business in China. So it is, um, those, of, those of us who expected kind of a, a, um, a consistent tra tra trajectory are now seeing a change that um, I think most of us didn't expect. I mean, there's some people who will say, oh, well, what did you expect? China's got 5,000 years, they've always been like this or reverting to type. Actually, um, I don't believe that because if you look at the population here and the people that where they've been educated and that they're global travelers and gro global, you know, global business people, um, to try to fit them within a, the confines of a very tight uh, system where people are studying Marxism again, um, where the uh, media is really uh, almost closed down to independent thinking. Um, this is, uh, it, there's a big contradiction between uh, that system and what the Chinese people have become in China's place in the world. And I don't think it's sustainable. I'm not sure how it will evolve or where it will go, but this is, um, this is probably the, mo it, it, it's the most interesting, but in some ways the most distressing time since I've been in China.